Hello, and welcome to The Discriminating Gamer, the board game review show that absolutely loves to quote its favorite Star Wars lines while sitting in the bathroom. Negative, negative. It didn't go in. It just impacted on the surface. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to go ahead and take a look at the latest expansion to Mansions of Madness, Horrific Journeys from Fantasy Flight Games. In Mansions of Madness from Fantasy Flight Games, players, of course, take on the iconic roles of the various investigators, some of whom we've seen in previous uh, incarnations of this game and expansions of this game. And then, of course, the, the wider uh, universe. Uh, you've seen these investigators in Eldritch Har and Arkham Horror. And you also get four new investigators uh, for Mansions of Madness uh, with this expansion. These investigators are Silas Marsh, the Mariner, Trisha Yarborough, the Spy, Agnes Baker, the Waitress, and Jim Culver, the musician. Now, this new expansion has three new scenarios that are available to download for free on the app. These scenarios are Murder on the Stargazer Majestic, which takes place on a dirigible. You have the 1050 to Arkham, which takes place on a train. And then finally, you have Hidden Depths, which takes place on a uh, pleasure cruise, on a boat. So there's a few new uh, items and ideas that come along with some of these expansions, so let me go ahead and talk to you briefly about them right now. First of all, you have a new set of tokens called Rift and Water Tokens. Uh, one side's the Rift, the other side's the Water, and essentially they are for playable with specific scenarios. I won't tell you which, but uh, you can imagine. Um, but the Rift scenarios, of course, represent kind of these rifts in space and time that will, that will pop up as the... Uh, as the app tells you to. You've also got the water that'll kind of do the same thing. Uh, with the Rift, of course, the, they're kind of like fire. You can test uh, lore, I believe, to put them out to, to essentially remove them from the game, and you can't place one where one already exists on the board. You have the Lost in Time of Space cards. I think we've seen these before, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe not in, in Mansions of Madness, but essentially investigators can be sent to other realms, other times, and they have to, of course, test certain skills to get back to return to the game itself. If they uh, are lost in space and time, you actually take them off the board, you put them on the card, and then when they, if they're able to return, then you can just kind of put them back in any explored space on the board. Now, you also have agenda cards. Now, agenda cards come into play only with the hidden depths uh, scenario and essentially what this brings to the game is a hidden traitor scenario so you can either be human or you can be kind of one of these you know sea creature human hybrids and depending on which card you get that's kind of how you're trying to play the game and how you want the game to uh, to work out for you you've also got two new puzzles you've got uh, kind of these line puzzles they're like pipes they're wiring where you just kind of have to connect one end of a circuit to another end of a circuit or, or pipeline to a pipeline in order to achieve your objective Again, like some previous editions of Mansions of Madness, you have moving tiles, tiles that will actually physically move around the board in relation to the other tiles as well. Now that is essentially it as far as the new rules go, as the new concepts go. Um, there's not a lot here, by the way, of new rules and just some of these new items. Uh, that's, that's pretty much it. Now, I'll tell you right now, I have played uh, the first two scenarios. I played the Stargazer Majestic and the... Uh, uh, Trained Arkham. I've played both of those. I have not yet played the Hidden Depth, so I cannot comment on the Hidden Trader uh, mechanic in this game. I want to play that at some point, but it's just with the holidays coming up in my schedule, I just haven't been able to get a group together uh, to do that one. I, I want to try that, and uh, hopefully, maybe I'll have something to say on that a little bit later, but right now I haven't played that one. Just be aware of that going into it. But I have played the first two scenarios. They're both fun, they're both creepy, they're both very enjoyable. The new characters are good. I think Trish Scarborough may be a little overpowered. It seems like she's just about good at everything. But um, they're, they're, they're both, um, all, all the characters, I've played with them all, they're all fun. They've all got their unique quirks. And, of course, uh, the uh, new rules where they come in, the rifts, and the lost in time and space, they all add some new flavor to the, 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 the expansion here, to the game here. 
Um, this expansion, I, I think all of the Mansions of Madness expansions ultimately are going to... I mean, all the new investigators are great. Some of the new rules are great. But ultimately, they're all going to live and die by those scenarios. And I think the scenarios here that I played are actually a lot of fun. I, I really enjoyed both of them. Um, I won one. I didn't win the other. So there's there's some difficulty there. And that one I won, I think I just barely won. So there's, there's a good level of difficulty. There's a good level of challenge here. And overall, it, it's fun. Now, you do have some new monsters, too. You have the dimensional monster... Uh, dimensional straggler, I think he's called. You've got this formless shape, and you actually have to glue the formless shape to the um, to to the thing. It doesn't have a peg that you stick in. It's so big and icky. Of course, they're all icky, but that's when you do have to glue to the base. And then you've got the warlock uh, as well. That that's another uh, human adversary or human formed adversary, I should say. But at any rate, um, the, it's all good stuff. It's all interesting stuff. If you like Mansions of Madness, um, if you're a completist like me, you're going to want to pick this one up. You're going to want to play it. Um, you know, if you're new to Mansions of Madness, as a big box expansion goes, this this may be a good first expansion. Um, but you may I, you may want to start with some of the others. Streets of Arkham is probably a better first expansion for this game for, for a, a good big box expansion. Um, but I but I did like this one. I like the you know the train one's fun because you're kind of laying out tiles in a straight line. So you got to have some real estate there. But there's ways I won't get into it. But there's ways you can actually kind of cope with with uh, um, that getting too long uh, as the game progresses. Really a lot of fun. Really enjoyed Horrific Journeys. Um, so far, there has not been an expansion for Mansions of Madness I dislike. Um, of course, some are better than others. This one I really liked a lot. So if you're a fan of Mansions of Madness, you're looking for more goodness, go ahead and the recommendation for The Discriminating Gamer is buy Horrific Journeys. Thank you once again for joining us today on The Discriminating Gamer. As always, we ask you to please leave a comment for us on YouTube, on Board Game Geek, on our Facebook page, or on thediscriminatinggamer.com. We ask you to please like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and follow us on Twitter. We are The Discriminating Gamer, and you know, I, I, I gotta tell you, my other favorite uh, Star Wars bathroom line is, I've been waiting for this a long time, my little green friend. <laughs> hey, somebody help me, on my feet again, and I don't know where I'm What's gonna do? Play another Cthulhu game? Ha! <laughs> <laughs>